Hey guys, welcome back to Take 10 for our very last video together. It's crazy. Um, so introducing me, my name is Hale. I'm from Mishawaka, Indiana. I go to school at Indiana University in Bloomington, Indiana, and I love flowers, drawing, and dogs. Hey guys, very last icebreaker with Sissy Girl here. So we have got our hat, and there's actually only one question left. Um, so it's a question for us to answer, but also a fun fact about Sissy. Can you read it with me? So we don't remember exactly how old Sissy is, but we think that she's about 13 years old. So that's pretty exciting. And then um, what's an interesting fun fact about yourself? So this one is free range. You can share whatever you want to. So go ahead and turn and tell a partner a fun fact about yourself. Maybe something they don't already know. Okay, so my fun fact is that I'm only five foot and two inches tall. That's pretty short for an adult. Um, so by sixth grade or seventh grade, a lot of you are probably going to be my height, if not maybe even taller. So that's kind of funny. I know in these videos you can't see how tall I am, but I'm pretty short. <laughs> so yeah, that's a fun fact about me. All right, let's get back to our video. Okay, ground rules. When you practice take 10, you need to use these rules plus the rules of whatever place you're currently in. So, number one, everyone has the right to speak. Number two, no one must speak. Three, everyone must listen. Four, no put downs and no name calling. Five, disagree on issues, but don't attack people. Six, agree to disagree. And seven, Keep a sense of humor at all times. So last time I asked you to try and remember the things from our final chapter, walking away. So courage is doing the right thing, no matter what the cost or consequence is. And walking away is verbally ending the argument and physically removing yourself from the situation. This can be really hard to do. And sometimes it's really hard to even know when to do but we should always be walking away when things feel unsafe or when we feel like we are just not ready yet to fully take 10 so that we can empathize and trade perspectives and problem solve. If we really feel like we can't do that and the only way that this conflict can go is down, then we gotta go. And we can come back later if we feel like that's a good idea. It's always an option and your safety is important. So walking away is important. And walking away is not like a cowardly thing to do because sometimes it really is the best option for not only you, but also the other person. And it's pretty assertive actually to say, you know what, I'm gonna walk away because we deserve better than a bad ending to this conflict. We deserve a good ending. And the only way that we can get that is by walking away first. So hopefully you guys remembered that. It's really important stuff. And now we will jump into our review of everything that we've learned together. Okay, so back to the basics. Take 10. What does that mean? Take 10 deep breaths before you say something that hurts. Take 10 steps back before getting involved in a fight. And take 10 seconds before using something as a weapon. And a good way to keep track of taking 10 is with your fingers. Because when you're angry, and you're trying to take 10, you might move really fast through it. But if you move too fast, it might not work as well, right? Like 10 seconds. If you think in your head that you're taking 10 seconds, but it's actually only like four seconds, then you might not be as calm as you would have been. And that's what we need. So you can use your fingers to count as you take 10. Other things that we want to talk about, just to make sure you remember, anger is normal. Everybody has it, everybody's got their own anger triggers, and you should not ever feel ashamed for getting angry. What matters is how we respond to it, right? Also know that there's always another emotion behind anger. Anger never exists alone. 
And when you can find out what that other emotion is, it's really, really helpful for solving the problem. Because basically that is the problem that you're trying to solve. So for me, an anger that is behind emotion, or sorry, an emotion that is behind anger a lot um, is usually like confusion. I hate being confused. I always want to understand what's going on. And when I'm confused and I don't understand, I do get angry. So a lot of times that's one of the things that's behind anger for me. But the real issue is that confusion, right? So if I want to stop being angry and I take 10 and then I want to solve the problem, the problem is that I'm confused. So that's what I have to try and fix, right? Another thing, conflict is normal. This is going to happen all the time and it's not just you. It's your friends, your family, your teachers. Conflict is so normal. And you know what? Good things can come out of conflict. People don't talk about that enough. That, you know, you might have a disagreement with your friend and it might be really upsetting and super annoying. But at the end of it, you know something new about your friend. And maybe you're even better friends because of it. And that's awesome. That happens a lot. Another thing about conflict, it can be expressed and worked through nonviolently. We always want you to remember that, that violence is a choice that you make and you do not have to make it. There are plenty of other options. And if you're feeling angry when you're in a conflict and you need to handle it in a way that's nonviolently, we came up with some ideas if you remember. One of the really popular ideas is exercising. It's a really good way to get out that like energy that you have. And me personally, I like to draw because it's something you have to focus really hard on and that helps you get out that energy. Okay. Now I wanna go through kind of the steps of when you're angry and you're in a conflict. First, we want you to talk it out, walk it out, wait it out. This is how you get to calm down from that anger because if you don't calm down from the anger, it's kind of hard to move on, right? And get to those next steps. So first, talk it out, walk it out, wait it out. Then once you feel calm, you can listen to their perspective with empathy. Remember that's trying to understand how other people are feeling. So you can listen to how they saw the situation, felt about it, and try to understand them. That's really important. Once you've done that and you feel like you understand the situation and you've already calmed down, then you can problem solve. Or maybe if you need to, you can walk away like we've been talking about. Remember problem solving? You're going through and identifying the problem and you're coming up with solutions and you're brainstorming together and you have to pick a solution and then you have to act on it. You have to actually do what you said you'd do. And by then, hopefully you've gotten through the conflict and it's all solved now. And you're calm, you've understood each other, and you're able to find a good solution. So that is kind of the roadmap that you always want to follow when you are taking 10 and working through conflict. Okay, saying goodbye. This is really sad. So I want you guys to turn and talk with a partner. Teachers, feel free to pause the video for a minute or two. What was your favorite part of learning Take 10 with me? And also, what was the most useful thing you learned in Take 10? You know, something that you're actually going to use in your daily life. So go ahead and think about these and we'll come back and I'll share my answers too. Okay, hopefully you guys have had enough time to talk about this. I'm really hoping you have some good answers because we've been doing this together. Um, so my answers, my favorite part of learning Take 10, is probably all the video clips that we watched or the journal activities. I tried to make those fun and especially the videos, I tried to make them funny and I liked them a lot. So I hope you guys did too. Um, and what was the most useful thing you learned in Take 10? So. I had to learn Take 10 before I taught it to you guys, right? I had to learn at some point, and it was pretty recently. And what I found most useful that I learned before I even taught this to you guys is that anger is a secondary emotion. And knowing that that means there's always another emotion behind anger, 
And if you can figure out what that emotion is, you've basically figured out what the problem is that you're trying to solve. That like blew my mind. Um, it makes solving conflicts so much easier when you understand it that way. And I just thought that was so cool. I'm definitely going to use that like every day after we're done talking about Take 10 together. So yeah, hopefully you guys had at least one favorite part that you liked about doing this. And hopefully you found at least one thing useful that you'll really use in your life. That is our goal here. We want you to be using Take 10 at school, at home, really anywhere you go, because it's going to make your life better. So I hope you guys got something good out of this. Okay, our very final journal activity. This is kind of just for fun, but you know what? You guys deserve it. And it's this is a good time, I promise. So we want you to design a t-shirt, a Take 10 t-shirt. Ideally, somewhere on it, on the front or back, you will write Take 10. Um, and you can write, you know, talk it out, walk it out, wait it out. You can draw pictures, just do a super cool design. And I hope you guys have a good time doing that. Really quick, I will show you guys the one I did. So I used purple because purple is kind of the take 10 color. And um, yeah, I wrote take 10 on the front inside a little sun because I like the sun. And on the back, I wrote talk it out, walk it out, wait it out because that's our slogan. I didn't do anything too interesting. I'll leave that to you guys. You guys can do some really cool designs, I'm sure. And I wish I could see them. But I hope you guys have a great afternoon. Go ahead and get started on that. And before you go, I just want to remind you really quick about what Take 10 means. If nothing else, I want you to remember what Take 10 means when you leave this video. So use our hands as a reminder. It's always helpful. Take 10 deep breaths before you say something that hurts. Take 10 steps back before getting involved in a fight and take 10 seconds before using something as a weapon. Okay, it has been so exciting to get to teach you guys and I really hope that you can use Take 10 in your lives. Try and remember, if nothing else, these things we just went over, Take 10. Um, talk it out, walk it out, wait it out. It is totally normal to be angry and have conflict. Thank you guys so much. It's been great working with you. Bye.